Hello, my name is Lucy. My name is Prince Nelson. And this is Lush Hair. Okay, so how did you start um, making hair and why do you love it so much? Um, I think I started making hair um, when, I fin when I was, I think a year before I went into the uni. There was this like um jump obviously has jumped as usual yeah. i didn't get admission that year so i was just at home and it was just like one long year of not doing anything and i'm the, i don't like to be idle Fact. i always look for something to do at every point in time so i just i told um told my parents that i wanted to go learn how to do something mm -hmm. and they were like what i was like i, I want to go work in a salon it came as a shock, but um, I think my love for it came from where, when we were younger, my mom owned the salon. Oh, we okay. I, I think almost all our parents because my mom yeah. had to. So I went to the salon and I worked there for a year. So, oh. but I never, after that, after that year, I went back to school, but I never used it until i you never used that lot that knowledge till i came into the house in 2020. okay mine i i i wanted to learn how to bab and to do furniture during nyc yes that i don't know for some reason i wanted to do that but somehow i ended up in one of the a furniture -ish kind of line of business uh, in abuja which is the cinema you know company so we build like home cinemas and stuff but That's i never cool. got to learn the babbing i still want to learn it Oh, can't teach you. I'm open to that. So, um, tell us one thing about you that people don't know. That I'm really sweet. I agree. I have been so I didn't laugh before. They will not think that you are joking. I agree to that one. Uh, how do people that call me big baby? I don't know, but I, I really try not to be though. But okay. In three words, how would you describe your feelings towards Tolani Baja News? relationship <laughs> in the house um, in three words in three words mm -hmm. not your my feelings not my concern anyway okay okay you what's one thing you found most challenging about being back in biggest house staying out of people's business oh my god it was so difficult because as you're passing you're hearing things and there is no if you you know that if you put mouth hey it will poof and then you don't know who is beefing who and who is against who, who is with who so you know the gist no complete it yeah. was so difficult for me to mind my business because the word the gist was loud like they're not saying it and trying to show 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 it was loud you pass and you're hearing the complete gist and you hear half and half and half and half this you shall know somebody's beefing somebody i'm like if i put out here i don't even know who i'm going to clash with and i don't even want that so it was it was really difficult for me to mind my business in that house what are your top three secrets to looking as good as you do top three secrets get a change of hairstyle every week <sighs> for women yeah for women no for you okay i'm not just saying yeah, yeah, for, yeah. This. but okay okay this is for the guys for me okay for you it's, okay. A, it's for you it's for you yeah, i'm just trying to imagine okay. I, I i get it i change my hair i change my hair cut uh, hairstyle every week Why? i'm at the salon every week get a new haircut get a shave every week um always shopping for new shoes every single time i'm always buying new shoes i think i buy like i don't want to say i mean okay always new shoes all the time and new clothes all the time as well but the 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 you get only three though the yeah the joke is that i don't pay for clothes yeah that's a nice one that's a nice one okay uh clothes every time Hey, because in one week we women were still passing through pain so from the one we made so i don't think but okay for the men i'm sure it's not like that okay <laughs> you're, you're, i actually enjoy the pain that, oh my Jesus that i get from when maybe because you have given men labor when they like, when they're braiding know, my hair i actually enjoy that pain hi i think men would have done a better job carrying pregnancy than women because i feel it would have been easier for you guys no because i mean we, even we don't pain now. we have a very low threshold for pain <sighs> Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um what's something on your bucket list that you that you are determined to do someday? Bungee jumping. 
I really want to I really want to do all those skydiving, bungee jumping, zip lining, like those crazy experiences. Like that, jump off something. Guy. Actually, just jump. But you, I just know I'm safe. Like you know? I have some iron holding me, everything, but like just I just want to know that freedom, that level of freedom. And I'm screaming at the top of my voice, like woo. Yeah, that's what I want to do. In what one way was your time in the old stars house completely different from your lockdown experience? Um ah, this grammar. The people are different. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I really love as much as uh, I love the people from the All Stars, I really love the people from my set. I feel like we were freer. We were Oh no, yeah. We played like kids. We were we were actually like the madness for me was of when um, one day I don't know I don't know who came out and said they had knives hidden during their parties thing. Mm. The first time, like, I think level up or something. I was like, mm. you say, you say yes. They used to hide the knives. That I said, you mean you people were that violent towards each other that mm. they hid knives. We never experienced, we, or maybe we never noticed. Yeah, but like we, we we played like kids in our. Everybody sense. was just living like it, it was like a breath of fresh air because it was locked down. Everywhere yeah. was choking. This was like a mad holiday for us. Although there was like squabbles, but it wasn't even this deep or dirty. Yeah. Um, uh, so um, I think uh, I think that's that knife. Like you would actually stab someone. Wow. Um, what three attributes do you think you have in common with lush hair? Me? Yes. I'm silky. I'm smooth. <laughs> <laughs> now you know where your mind go. <laughs> um, I'm at a ooh versatile. Oh. Yes. Must be nice. <laughs> <That's been nice. laughs> which ulcer's housemate do you think is the most misunderstood by the viewers ulcer's housemates do i think is the most misunderstood mm -hmm. i don't know to be honest but i feel like um i, I would say i would say i would say alex and by yeah i think alex is really misunderstood a lot because i know her <gasps> Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's difficult yeah. when you know the person. I know her personally, and mm -hmm. a lot of the things that she does, and people say, ah, "Why is she like?" Also, why is she crying now? Do you understand all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff? Why, why is she doing this? I'm like, that's who this girl is. If yeah. her pen fall on the floor, she will start crying. It's yeah. annoying, but that's who she is. You know, there's a lot of things that she does, and I'm like, I'm exhausted in my head. I'm like, how are you this childish? But that's actually who she is. She's very, she's that way at heart. But I see that a lot of things that she does in the house, or when people, the people think, oh, she's acting for the camera. She, but in my head, I'm like, you guys don't know this person. This is exactly who she is. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that, you know, to an extent because mm -hmm. I had one of my closest friends, you know, defending me so much when I the, that's lockdown time when I came out of the house, and she's like, I could see the comments, the videos where she was fighting with people. That that's not my friend. I knew my friend. She's a very fun person. She's a very this one person. I'm like that person in the house. I don't know what's going on, but that's not my friend. I'm like. You could have you didn't even need to stress yourself. We know, like there's no need for but then I get I get you, I get you. Um was that me to you? Yeah. So okay. in what way was your all stars experience different from your lockdown experience? Same question. Um the people. The people yeah. that that's mostly the difference. Yeah. The people and the timing in terms yep. of yeah the timing the the growth you've been able to you know the space of three years you're a different person, like it or not. So that kind of you've had the experience also so there's like many factors yeah. so i couldn't have been the same person i was definitely yeah plus i'm richer like <laughs> <laughs> i send you my answer I, well, look at that, uh, I mean i'm following your footsteps so what do you mean no yeah. i mean richer than i was in, uh, in the lockdown it, uh, when i entered that house the house i was staying was 160 no 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 not 280k a year we don't want to know my rent right now my brother let's let's just keep it pushing <laughs> i will send you my answer mm -hmm. no no you can't do that what would you say makes lush hair so unique um the hair texture yeah um as someone who is into you know the business of hair we're very particular about the texture of hair that we use so the texture of the hair What's one of Lush Hair's wide ranges of extension colors do you think 
best suits your personality. Oh, it was that blue one. There's this bluish greenish hair I did. Oh my god. Yeah, I think you that like color. very you like colors. I don't know. I just saw the thing in uh, my salon. They, they, you know, they piled it. Somebody, a new stylist I got, you know, brought the hair. And I'm like, what is that color? You know, and she's like, oh, we have just two of that. I said, I want it. Like, I want, I want that color. And they did it for me. They made them not less braid, long one. Oh my God. I rocked that hair. The mm -hmm. front was gone. I was rocking it like almost over a month. I loved it and I'm definitely going to do that color again. So yeah, that, that was this blue. I don't, I didn't check the number, but it was green. It was green and looked like blue. I, I don't even know that color was amazing. Let's do. Yeah. Okay. Um, which housemates did you form the most unexpected bond with? Mm, I can already guess. Um, unexpected bond mm -hmm. with, uh, was CC actually. <gasps> Yeah. That was not who I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not who you would think. But mm -hmm. that's the person that because yeah, I saw you people rocking. That's yeah, true. because um I mean there's you know, she she was not in good terms with if my friend yeah, Alex at the time. Yeah. So I expected that by the time although I never had the intention of having any issues with her. Of course. When I come into the house, I'm not going to be for anybody. Mm -hmm. But I expected that there would be tension. You get because she obviously knows prince is this person's friend mm -hmm. but there wasn't any tension at all you get mm -hmm. she just didn't speak to me the first day that i came in yeah but i think from like the second day there was a hi hello there and before we knew it we were chatting before we knew Ooh. it we we're dancing we we're dancing at parties and we we're having you know conversations and all of that Pretty and it looked like facing, sitting in a tree <laughs> what's what's all this <laughs> But carry on. You get so, and it looked like I was one of the very few guys in the house that she was very comfortable being around. Around okay. and or so, and for me that was very unexpected. Okay. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? You don't want to know. Let's just you. You don't want to know. Just moving on. Next. Okay. Wait. Well, I'll just I'll just read your question over that because nope nope we're not doing that. What would you? Really? Mm? um yeah um what would you say was your favorite thing about spending time in the lush hair saloon getting to make hair on the show again right yeah because i mean it was nostalgic right you know, yeah like from the last time uh -huh. it was it was my it was my thing it was the sundays was like prince's day yeah you know what i said so coming back on the show and oh, I, it was like from the first day I came after everybody, you know, greeted me, welcomed me. The next thing was everybody, ah, you're making my hair this Sunday, you're making my hair this Sunday. So that, I felt like that was the day where everybody wanted my attention. That's the second time around. Yeah. Okay. You know, everybody wanted Princess' attention. Everybody wanted to be Princess' friend. That moment. On that, on that Sunday. So, and yeah. the salon was so pretty. Yeah, it was so cute and just pink everywhere. I'm yeah, not really you know, a pink person, very, but yeah, yeah, pink is yeah. nice very nice so yeah hmm. i did i did enjoy that okay sell yourself to lush hair as a potential brand ambassador with three sentences i own a very luxurious salon in the heart of lagos that's one sentence that's okay one. two i have the best stylist hands in lagos we give the most pampering services in my salon and i feel like you would be wow and amazed if you came to you know see what i've been able to do in my space and for this reason i feel like white spot should be where you're looking at so with this i hope we've been able to convince you and not confuse you <laughs> no so smooth you come and set up shop with us okay Okay, what's the most dramatic argument you witnessed during your time in the house? I'm guessing it's this one. The most dramatic argument mm -hmm. I witnessed during my. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, God. It, it had to do with hair. Hair? <gasps> hair? Yeah. Oh, uh. Which one? It had to do with. Um... Arguing about you charging money? Yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't. I didn't see any reason because it was all bands. It was all jokes. So mm. the fact that some people took it personally was for it me. Felt, it felt weird to me. Okay, for me, I think that would have to be the you don't respect boundaries. <laughs> 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 
you, you, I, 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 think, think, I, think, yeah, I think probably because I wasn't there when it yeah. started. Yeah. But but that one. That one. That one. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely takes the cake. Definitely. Like, what? And the worst part of Scratch it. Scratch the first one. Was, that one. It was immediately after the happiness lady left. Bruh. <laughs> And to think where you know all peace, zen, <laughs> we have overcome the boom. devil. Oh my god. Seconds <laughs> later. <laughs> Bang! Chaos. Chaos blue. And we were like, we were like, we were like, so we were like Angel Gabriel has not even left <laughs> the room yet. Y'all <laughs> have descended yes. to hell. It was I just nah, but I it, just was, it was crazy. It I was just crazy. Removed, I removed myself from the equation so fast. Like you know how at this thing just start like this, I just went into my <laughs> like I don't even want to be involved because I'm like what okay, um uh okay, yes, yeah, so me now. Which of the housemates pushed you to the brink of fighting at the house? Opera now. This back this house Abby. Yeah. But she didn't know she did that, so for that I'll forgive her. Okay, which five housemates are you rooting for to make it to the finals? Um Alex Baye Mercy Soma Five. How many is it now? Alex Baye Mercy Soma. Soma. Mm, new. Okay. I was I was hoping for your sake you say new because I know you will come yeah. for you. Okay, um that's I think that's it for me. Yes. What's the one thing you miss the most about being in Biggie's house? Big brother's voice. Yeah, Telling nice. me, Oh Lucy, you're not just special. You are all stars. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, you know, there's something about that. Oh, oh, Rinse oh, Nelson. Please report. It's like it's guy. soothing. Oh. You know, his, his verse is very ah, commanding. That voice. Even if you were angry when you entered that big brother, that very yeah, room. Once you just remember, Lucy, is everything all right? Oh, you just forgive everything. <laughs> like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just, I'll just get over it. But thank you so much for tuning in and just keep watching out for lush hair. Hi, my name is Lucy Edet Asian, and this is me telling you that you should look out for lush hair. All their products are amazing. I have tried them and I can assure you, you want their products. So this is me saying just, you know, keep your eyes on their space and everything that concerns them because you're going to have an amazing time. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Prince Nelson and a big shout out to Lush Hair for supporting Big Brother Night just season eight, the all-star season. You guys are amazing. Continue to wow us with your amazing products and guys don't forget to use lush hair to have that luscious feeling that you get when you use it all right peace out lush hair be beautiful